Hello Hypesters and welcome to Hype News. My name is Job and I'm here with Sarsi to tell you more about the upcoming Hype Hype update. It's been a while since our last update video and we're going to start making these more frequently so that we can keep you guys up to date on everything that is coming. That's it, so let's swipe into it. In this update we are introducing patches that will show up in your profile. For now, badges will be given when you complete a set of tutorials. And each tutorial set will give you a specific badge. In the future, there may be other ways to earn badges, such as participating in game jams or winning in tournaments. So by now, you may have noticed that Hypepipe has gotten a visual overhaul. The biggest change you see is in the profile. In addition, the social hub and the create page have separate tabs within them. For instance, the social hub has tabs for chatting with your friends, ongoing sessions where you can see all the participants, and a chat tab for the participants within the ongoing session. Now you can easily record and save replays as clips. Once you have finished the hype, you will get an option to save the replay as a video. This will make it much easier for you to share your most masterful or funniest moments with friends or social media. With this feature, you don't have to worry about screen recording your every session. We can't wait to see what kind of clips you'll be sharing on social media. Remember to tag us when you do. The editor has gone through the biggest changes, making it much more intuitive when you're editing hypes. We got rid of the quick menu on the left and replaced it with floating buttons that you can customize to your own liking. Also the duplicate, actions and remove buttons have been moved to the gizmo, which makes creating hypes much more faster. When creating a hype, there's now a new editor log which shows you important information regarding your hype. For example, if it's missing instructions on how to play or other errors that will prevent you from publishing, they will show up in that log. One example could be that if your hype is missing a game objective, a new sort of description that shows up when your hype is being played, the editor log can take you directly to the objective settings. In addition, there are tons of other changes such as new nodes and quality of life updates. That's all we have to show in this video. My favorite feature in this update is definitely the new gizmo. How about you, Sarah? I'm happy that it's easier for me to delete all the mistakes that I make when making my hypes. Let us know what your favorite feature is down in the comments below. If you want to go follow us on our social medias, they will all be linked down below in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.